What's up, guys? Yeah, I always delete them like right after I'm done with them. I don't have the computer space or the hard drive and stuff to hold on to everything. And me and my friend Donna were talking. I gotta make sure I double check on her name. I'm pretty sure it's Donna. She just introduced herself to me about eight months ago or so. But uh, um, uh, it's funny to me because you'd have a uh, scientific, relative, interactive observations and discussions that would uh, out, uh, you know, perform and analyze a lot of people's. Uh, docudramas and stuff that they've won awards over and, and uh, I make them and then delete them and <laughs> that was me five minutes ago so I'm like off to doing something else and I got other things to do like listen to the brothers stereo right there <laughs> it's all good man it's just a day in your neighborhood man it's all about music it's about life it's about expression it's about you know you have to be uh, somebody that expresses himself in a cool and um, cultural acceptable uh, fashion so you gotta have a nice car nice clothes the right music the right girl the right everything you know stuff like that so if you don't fit into these cultural norms and you're not as cool as everybody else you're, you just weren't very significant you weren't someone that passed on a fashion. Remember <laughs> that one on a Big Bang Theory when uh, uh, Leonard and uh, <laughs> and uh, Howard went out with their girlfriends, you know, and stuff. And then and then he stuck with uh, he stuck with um, Roger stuck with uh, Sheldon. And then he talks him into going out to this mixer and meet these two girls. One of them's Winnie Cooper, the one that the Roger's is making out with. I think that's Winnie Cooper. She's cute, but <laughs> from. Uh, 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 Wonder Years or whatever, I think that's the name of that show. But so he's sitting there, right, and he talks him into going because he gives him the 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 Green Lantern thing. He's embarrassed about hey, uh, him having it, but it was the it was the conversation started that got them to make out sessions. Well, Sheldon never got to his make out session. He could have got even further because the girl was like, I think he was playing hard to get, so she was trying even harder to get him. And he wasn't playing hard to get. He wasn't trying to get God. <laughs> that's the funny thing about it. It's a really hilarious. Uh, scenario man but it was just it was just hilarious watching it because they were out and he's all you know you're gonna go out on a date and oh man Raj was hilarious in that and so was Sheldon it was a really good episode man <laughs> have you ever seen that one really makes me laugh really hard but it just shows you you know what's cool what's cool to one person is not to this other what's this what's in what's out you know and and fashions tr and trends change and they go in and come out and then so one time they, he's talking about that zoot suit thing and he goes why would I want to sit there and go to a thing that started the zoot suit riots and he goes oh I thought that was from like a shopping thing <laughs> with the zoot, the racial zoot suit riots that a lot of people that are uh, culturally intellectually uh, not challenged understand that they were race riots in Los Angeles back during the, I think the Second World War, yeah, the Zoot Suit riots. So, but that was a fad, and now he's like, why would I want to go have a fad that's based on you know something that led to horrible riots? And it wasn't the Zoot Suiters' fault; it was the racist punks' fault. But you know, Zoot Suits were they were pretty cool. But uh, you know, fads change, uh, cars change, groups change, uh, fashions change, music changes, and stuff. But real love and real fellowship and true people that will stick up for you, love you, and help take care of you. I mean, that, like, never changes, man. I mean, you know, real love just is, is something that's always in fashion and always in style, regardless of, you know, whatever, you know. And cool is, what's cool is, is faith, faithful love, intelligence, uh, kindness, protection of stupidity abuse and bullying and stuff like that guys like jesus never go out of style man he's always like a local fashion that everybody tries to buy up and sell like a zoot suit you know and it just ain't feasible i mean and then i'm one of the ones of the family line it comes around to mind you you can't sell this shit you can't buy this shit and you can't make this shit you gotta live this shit legit or you gotta quit and if you don't step off i'm gonna make you wish you never tried to sell this shit ever again and i will come back and eliminate your game and make pretend every time you try to roll this sin past me do you understand me it's the way i flow and it's the way i go and if you try to roll it past me again, I will make you feel like you are always constantly living in a city of it, inter, eternal, relative, molecular worship of bullshit, idol sin. Do you understand me? You want me to begin again? Or do you want to continue this game of make pretend? I get grumpy. <laughs> I'm like that. Um, you know, I, if people don't really know who I is, I mean, you know, in some ways, I guess that could kind of be comforting because then I don't have to get too upset of the fact that they're still rolling illegit bullshit every day. If they know who I is, man, I feel sorry for themselves. You know what I mean? Because of what they still doing and what they still trying to do. But I'm hopeful that they don't know who I is and maybe they're being suppressed by the rich 
uh, morons that think they still run the markets and run the world and think they're smarter than everybody else and then hopefully someday soon they'll have access to someone like me and they'll be able to change and be a little bit more cool and more hip and roll it legit you know what I mean because the rest of the bullshit's got to quit right right so I'm hopeful how hopeful uh, the way things roll today and the way they were going to roll tomorrow and the way they raid the double four. I mean, I'm hopeful, but not that hopeful, but hopeful enough to enjoy that beautiful butterfly flying through the trees right there. And, you know, the, the, the light breeze. When I go back home, I can go through and uh, put down some fertilizer and uh, water and smell the flowers some more because I smell them every day because they're right by my door, you know. So stuff like that. So I got things to enjoy. And talk Zeke out of trying to destroy my mattress cover pad, that little punk. He digs and scratches on it, took chunks out. And I tell him, you are going to spend a whole fucking hour outside at home if I find out that you've been tearing up my thing on my bed again. Zeke Parsons, so help me Bob. I'll mess you up. <laughs> he looks at me like, no, you won't. Yes, I will. Dude, watch me. I'll drag you by your little collar and put you out on the on the patio for an hour. And you can yelp and bark and cry all you want and tell you how mean I am. And I'll say, you better learn, man. Don't tear shit up. You can dig a spot out there in the yard, man. If you want to be like a real dog, don't do it on my bed cover, on my old little bed uh, foam mattress cover. Do it in the yard out there with real dirt like a real dog. What's wrong with you, boy? <laughs> well, you stay inside and watch TV and play video games and don't go out and have a girlfriend and get loving and all that good stuff. I, I'll work on that, Zeke. I'll work on that. And then when I do, you'll have a, hopefully a more attractive, feminine type, good smelling belly scratcher for you to get your belly scratched by too. I could do that. I could do that. I could pull that off. I could pull that off. So I got to live in the world and the now that I'm living to and living to and rolling to and rolling with and flowing with. And I'm going to go flow and roll the way I got to and I got to do and you all got to know. But I just know when you're rolling it legit, it's really got to quit. But every day that you go further into this abyss of this great idol worship sin, it's a game of make pretend and you can't make pretend it away when the truth comes out and we have to live it every day. Do you understand what I spray? Because when I spit, I spit it legit and I don't quit and I keep going and I keep flowing. Because he told me, man, you'll succeed or die trying. It's just my flesh. I'm going to die anyway. There's your incentive keep rolling and flowing and going Ralph you know who you is you know who you be you're the king of kings the lord of lords and the in the line of David and Solomon and the brothers that see the truth be the truth and live the truth to the best of their ability because of all the praise and the glory goes to the amazing grace of our eternal existence of all existence do you understand me I understand me can you flow thee can you flow thee can you flow me can you flow with me can you go with me can you roll with me can you sit with me can you sit here in the chair and look across the square and the places that men make with the plants that they put together to provide oxygen from all the tar carbon emissions that kill your brain cells and keep you distracted and buying and selling and proofing the truth and the wrong stuff. Can you love me as much as I love you? I hope so. Let's go load this up in there and we'll see how it flows for us. This is slow for us. That's because we slump. Slum, slow and dumb. You know what the saying is. You know how the thing flows. You know how it goes. Why well, we got to be slum? Not another day. Another day of slum? Another day of slum. Why? Because it man, a lot of crooks come and steal their heart, but they never had someone who was really like Jesus to teach them how to love. How to love. Because they sold them and made them unreal and into something that could only pay bills and not be really and deliver them from evil. How to love. How to love. They don't know how to love, man. Here's the Las Cruces Fire Department. Maybe we can help put out this irrational fire in their souls that makes them want to buy and sell the smell of hell instead of celebrate a kingdom of heaven here on earth. I don't know. Can we help give them rebirth? We can try, but it ain't working too well. Well, that's okay. Maybe one of these days, like Algie said, we can get high with, with we can stretch the sky without even trying to get high off the fumes and the bullshit that they all smell and sell. Look at those beautiful clouds up there in me, Las Cruces. This is me. This is my home. This is where I'm from. It's beautiful today. You ought to see it, man. It's absolutely gorgeous. To a lot of people, it ain't. But to me, it is because I'm a native New Mexican, man. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you, man. We'll flow this some more. We'll see where we go. I'm going to get some walking in this week. It'll help bring down my my body fat, walk off some of the stuff I eat because I'm depressed. I have a tendency to go through bouts of some forms of depression uh, because it's depressing to me to watch people be insane and cruel and irrational and self worshiping and self-loathing and self-destructive because they celebrate all things of self that they make and not the grace of the eternal essence of all existence that is the source of life for that tree, the breeze, the clouds, and the beautiful women and children, and the true fellowship of real brothers who really care because they're really faithful and they're really courageous. You know? All right, y'all.
a man I'm waiting here on the bench for you sitting in the park just across the street there's Johnson Park right over there we still getting through it we still getting through it we still getting through it we'll do it whenever whenever I don't know God decides I ain't God I'm just God's servant all right guys I love you let's go flow this up and then we'll go home for the rest of the day and we'll walk down here the rest of the week you always got to just put your effort in that's all I'm doing uh, eventually I'll get a extortion gig and have some music and a pretty lady to enjoy Las Cruces with till the end of his days all right guys I guess that's the way it's supposed to work hey I'll work any way I've got to I can be a real man or I can be a jerk it don't matter to me if I'm walking around pulling a dog by a leash saying come on shithead let's go or if I'm walking around with lifesaver it's up to me well, they killed the lifesaver well it looks like I'm stuck with shithead all right guys I love you too all right I'm not mean I just roll truth when you roll truth and proof look at the butterfly Isn't that beautiful I don't know if y'all can see it, but I can see it. All right, sometimes the camera doesn't catch things as beautiful as the eye. That's cool. There she goes. All through the leaves and the trees and the bushes and the flowers. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to sit here and count the hours, count the minutes, and then just love what's given to me. I hope y'all come around someday. It would be nice to see your face at my door, but I don't know. I guess if I get a face like yours, i got to buy it at a store. <laughs> I love you guys, all right? How to love. How to love. When to not to be slum. As soon as you realize real amazing grace, then you come in and enjoy the place. I'm right here, Las Cruces, New Mexico. You know where to find me, right? All right, blessings and peace, man. Love y'all.